Hello from beautiful Rovaniemi. Today we're gonna do something so different and exciting for us. We are gonna go to a Finnish barbecue island restaurant. And we have to swim there. He's kidding, but we do have to take a boat there. So as you may know, we don't speak Finnish. <laughs> So I hope that's not a big deal. But anyways, we're gonna try to tell you the name of this restaurant without knowing Finnish. We're gonna go to Savrafla Kotisari. Savrafla Kotisari. Savrafla Kotisari. I might as well be Finnish yeah, at this point. Yeah, we said it differently, so. <laughs> Let us know who said it right. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. You've got a game coming to the Savurafla. Did you yes. have a booking? Yes. Getting <laughs> ready. Ready? Uh, over there. <laughs> Oh, there it is. You're for sure not drowning. I don't know if I want to do that too tight. <laughs> I am all life jacketed up, ready to boat to barbecue. I wonder how cold the water is. You'll find out once you jump in. It could not be a more beautiful day for this. It is so gorgeous. It's like not cold, but it's not hot. Oh man, we got so lucky. There's light, but it's not too sunny. Yeah, but Are it'll be- Are we already here? It, <laughs> <laughs> well, we made it. It's been about a minute and a half. Well, we made it. That was not the journey I was expecting. I was expecting it to be a lot longer, but I'm glad it wasn't, but it's beautiful. It's so unique. Or what the you, regular one? What, yeah, what do you recommend? This is the regular. Uh, this okay. is heat okay. in this summer. It's pineapple. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll do the original. So this is a Finnish long longero, but it's a long drink. And it is the normal, the original, is with gin and grapefruit. Everybody drinks it during the summer. The only comparison, I think, would be like White Claws or like seltzers. <laughs> in the US, but I also haven't tried it yet. Jenna already took her oh, sip. Oh, I, I would say so, but better tasting for sure. Better tasting? All right, well, here it goes. It definitely has to have sugar in it. This is really good. This is really good. <laughs> it doesn't matter, but I wonder because this is 10 times better than any White Claw I've ever had. So here's the pork belly, what's mm -hmm. coming to the plate, and the beef ribs, about 10 hours cooked. Wow. wow. Smoked, yeah. Wow. Yeah, we're from Texas. So, so you, we eat a so lot of, you, we love barbecue. barbecue. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Yes, yes. So no pressure. Yeah. <laughs> How did you find the place? We found this and it just seemed so, in, like such a unique thing yeah. in, in Rovian Yemi. Yeah. And also like, since we love barbecue, I was yeah. like, that's this kind is perfect. of yeah. Yeah. calling our name. The atmosphere here in yeah. the island. Yeah, very the, special. Oh, yeah. Very special. What yeah. is the history of the island? If you, if you know. <laughs> uh, I don't know that much, but the, the guides are are giving a little bit okay. information about the, everything about the history okay, perfect. and what's happening happened here. So is barbecue a tradition in Finland or is it something that you I enjoy? Think, I think the first barbecue restaurants came in Finland about maybe six years ago and now there's a big boom for the barbecue. Ah. In, in southern Finland there's a lot of places, barbecue places, but not in northern Finland. Mm -hmm. So I think this might be the northern barbecue restaurant in Finland. Wow. Yeah. Cool. Amazing, yeah. yeah. Maybe and in the world? That that's, might be. Yeah, yeah. that's a and good point. Only, only at the summer time, but let's see what happens Yeah. Yeah. after this. So as you know, we are from Texas, and barbecue in Texas is a little bit more than a tradition. It's like a, it's a culture. We're very, very excited to try it and eat some here in Finland. It was funny when you said that this might be the northernmost barbecue joint in, in the, the world. world. They should certify that in Guinness. Uh-huh. What is Pasun Kiliki? Pork flank. Oh. Pasun Kiliki. Now I know a little bit of Finnish. I don't know how to, ha I don't know how to say, how are you, but I can say Pasun Kiliki. Okay, this is super cool because Kotasari is the name of the island. And this was a meeting point for lumberjacks because this whole area of Rovianiemi in Lapland was huge for lumber. This island specifically was used as a meeting point and all of the channels were used to transport the lumber. This all kind of came to an end in 1980 whenever they started using trucks to transport lumber. And then after that, this island kind of began to be used for tourism. I don't know what's going on. Okay, I think that means we go. All the instructions, don't understand, but we'll go. All right, let's go. I've never felt so in my com comfort zone and culture 
and outside of my comfort zone and culture at the same time. <laughs> I wonder what the coleslaw on Finland's like. Yes. So here, one and one. Uh, yes. I think. Oh, okay, perfect. But that's pretty cool. <laughs> I thought this said y'all. It says this. <laughs> okay. okay, we made friends. <laughs> Yako and Elimina. And not only that, Yako made the playlist <laughs> that they play here, so he gets in for free. Yes, okay. I, I was one of the makers. Ah, one of the <laughs> not makers. Not just me. Yeah. But we're basically with the celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> About today's yes. menu, a little bit. So in English for the for, for you, yes. <laughs> and for everyone else. So we have beef brisket and beef ribs on the middle of the plate. Wow. And there's then there's pulled meat. It's beef and pork. And then a little bit of uh, smoked pork belly on the right side. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Wow. And the traditional sides. So there's coleslaw, mac and cheese, smoked beans, and roasted. Roasted potatoes with uh, thank you. Amazing. Please enjoy. Yeah. Thank you. So thank you. Much. Here you go. Do you remember what this was? That one is a mix of pork and Really good. Oh yeah. From a Texan? I would say yes. And they smoked this for ten hours. Ten hours. What do you think? Very good. I don't know where that's from. <laughs> I know they really did go all out. <laughs> Honestly, I wasn't expecting it to be like this intense. I was just like, oh, let's we can go eat some like smoked barbecue. Yeah. But it's like everything is perfect. This is super good. I think this is like a, one of the best restaurants in Finland. I think it has like a little bit different flavor than like what we're kind of more used to. Like there's different flavoring or a spice or something. I would say it's just as good. It is incredible meat. Yes. That is amazing. We're gonna try it. Good with the burger. I'll try a little. Yeah, so they even have like coleslaw, mac and cheese, potatoes, and like baked baked beans or like smoked beans. So like they got the whole fixins. All the fixins. The sides. My southern accent's gonna start coming out more. Yeah, I was about to say <laughs> mine is mine is too. Under the Sweden. Oh like no boy. Oh man, this is so good. I'm I'm like I'm extremely impressed. Even the coleslaw is good. I don't even like coleslaw. This is such a unique experience. I've been thinking about mac and cheese for like the past year. The last time we've had macaroni and cheese was like probably was when we were in the US. I don't think I even had it when we went back for the wedding. I could eat this whole thing right now. I think there's even jalapenos in it. No way. Yeah. That'd be crazy. No, I think it's just some kind of uh, American mac and cheese. Because some people like it really like liquidy, so the cheese is very like melted. I like it like this because it's thick, so it has a lot more like texture. I love this one. Wow. Yep. Mac and cheese me up. Just based off your description, I knew what this was going to taste like already. It was excellent. I already knew the texture. It's been so long since I've had mac and cheese. This is so amazing. Well, we're now the last people. Just us. I'm a slow eater. <laughs> Just us in this wonderful playlist. <laughs> Finland, we have this saying like if you're really full of food and you have to eat the dessert, you can say it goes to different stomach. <laughs> you have space. You must be Finnish. I have to be because that is literally me. It's like I could say that I'm like I'm the fullest I've ever been, and then if someone gives me a cookie. Yeah. So this restaurant is extra unique because it is only open in the summers from June 15th, which was just two days ago, until August 26th, and only four days a week, and only for one meal, which is dinner. To make it extra special, there was actually no availability for two people until August, but we sent them an email asking if we could come, and they've let us come, so it is amazing. Kitos to this restaurant for letting us be here. <laughs> Coffee or tea? Ooh, okay, I will, I will I'll take do. Tea. We have the basic Earl Grey. As you probably have heard, Finnish people are very big coffee drinkers. You are the second and third for this evening to take tea. Oh, <laughs> really? And then there is a cheesecake with mascarpone filling. 
<laughs> For my second stomach, <laughs> I've got a little cheesecake. This looks like rhubarb. Did he say rhubarb? I think so. Toasted marshmallows and pineapple. Also, I just love these. I don't know why. I like, want to get these for my house. They're like an apartment one day. What an experience. This is so cool. This is probably one of my favorite experiences we've done traveling. Yeah, so we're back in the house afterwards. I think this is everything that was left on this island. So like all of these papers, books, pictures, and even the beds and everything. And also this is the house, but the other house, which we'll show you is the old sauna, which is so funny because even at that time period, you had a house and you had a sauna. And what we ate in was actually the old boat house. So that was where they stored all the boats. Really unique, super fascinating. And there's just so much, so much little history and little facts of this island that we're so happy we learned. Already? Yeah. Nice and full. The boat's gonna be heavier going back uh, ten than it times was heavier. coming. All right, time to go. Like we said earlier, this has got to be one of the coolest travel experiences we've ever gotten. This was so unique and it was just more than a restaurant. It was an experience. Mm -hmm. We got to make Finnish friends. Mm -hmm. We got to talk with the staff yep. and we got to have barbecue in Northern Finland. On an island with a lot of history, we're gonna big, give a big shout out to Satura Flakotisari. We had so much fun. We've made some new friends and just what a great experience. It was a great mixture of the culture that we're used to back home and a really good introduction to the Finnish Lapland, so. And if you're planning to come to Rovianimi, try to book a spot ahead of time because it's worth it. Phenomenal. We're going to be leaving the link in the description um, to the information below. So if you do wanna check it out in the future, you definitely should. We hope you enjoyed this video too, and we will see you in the next one on what else we explore here in this beautiful town. Kitos. Moi moi. <laughs> this is for the bloopers, but mm -hmm. I just I just started to fly our drone so we could get some drone shots of the lake, we could get some drone shots of Rovaniemi, and it just started spiraling out <laughs> of control. <laughs> <laughs> and it fell straight into the lake. So not only are we losing our drone, we're polluting the beautiful Finnish Laplands. Okay, I wouldn't have mentioned that, but I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Ugh, and there was no way to recover it. it. We just, we literally just like, we're watching it fall and it just fell into the middle of the lake. So, a river. It, it, what do they call this, a river or a lake? <laughs> I wonder when they pick us up, everybody's kind of forming a line over here. So many people here. <laughs> <laughs> Let the finish flag fly.